Hello, this is RV Vagabond Jerry. And there are many Rippies Believe It or Not museums around the country. This one here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee, I think is one of the oldest. I came here to see this one back sometime in the 1980s. I've been to a lot of them around the country, and they're all a little bit different. They got some displays that are the same, but they all have a lot of things that are different. So I'm going to go through and show you what this particular location in the Ripley's Believe It or Not Museum has. So come on inside with me. A lot of the Believe It or Nots are about Ripley himself. He visited over 200 countries and never flew to any of them. How about that? And he really liked Chinese junk ships. And this is a replica of one that he bought himself that he used on a regular basis for parties and inviting guests. Trunken heads was always a big thing with Ripley. But here we have a woman that is has a trunken entire torso. With their hair going down to there. Here's a carving made completely from camel bones. And here's a statue of a real man who looks pretty normal except for the horn in the back of his head. Here's a collection of African tribal masks. Much different than the masks we wear today. <laughs> and here we have Tibetan dance figures. And after looking at these ladies, I think I should probably take a trip to Tibet one of these days. This is what the ladies look like in Tibet. Wow. And here is a life-size statue of the world's thinnest man. Look at this. And here's another life-size statue of a man who weighed 1,400 pounds. I've never been a fan of tattoos. So I definitely would not want to date this lady. This is something that used to be typical in Africa. I don't know if it still is. This woman was from Myanmar. And they would add rings around their neck throughout their life to see how many they could put and when they would take their rings off they could not hold up their heads because it was just so weak from the neck not really getting exercised all their life here is a mummy that is 4,000 years old still in fairly good shape I hope giving this away doesn't spoil your fun, but I've been in other Ripley museums where they have this about faces. So it tells you to look in this mirror and show us your craziest face. And what you don't realize is that that is a two-way mirror and on the other side is someone watching you do that. <laughs> Here's a guitar made from a wash basin. Do you recognize this? Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Let me walk all the way around it here. And then I'll tell you what is so fascinating about this you can't already tell. It has a board description in front here that tells you that it's made with over a half a million matchsticks. So if you look real closely
you can see all those individual matchsticks. That's a horse made mostly out of buttons. And this is a portrait of Michelle Obama, which is made only from bottle caps. How about that? There's a portrait of Brad Pitt made with cigarette ashes and a portrait of a female fairy from Irish mythology used by making only junk mail. <laughs> There's a portrait of George Washington crossing the Delaware. And it is completely made with one single line of the whole painting. is one continuous line, as it says here. Here is an albino giraffe and an elephant that has two separate trunks. And those are recreations of real animals. This lady, I've seen two different people on television do this, where they shoot a bow and arrow in that position and is amazingly accurate. I wonder if this guy ever dated the tattooed lady I showed you earlier. This is a 3D piece that as you walk by, it looks like it's moving. Wow. But when you get up close, you see that it's actually 3D. This is a portrait of Oprah for a Winfrey, made from barcodes. And this is a portrait of Stephen Colbert, made from different color duct tape. Here's a sheet made from mops. Here's a dress made from candy wrappers. And this blue one is a dress made from blue post-it note paper. And, and this dress is made totally from, can you tell? Toilet paper. Well, this is a really odd thing to happen to that deer. Somehow he got his horns locked in with that wasp nest. Here's an art piece made from a big piece of wood. And all of the coloring is from burned magnifying glass burnings. How about that? Who would have ever thought to do that? Just hold a magnifying glass to burn the wood. Did you know WTF stands for Weird True Facts? <laughs> this is their gift shop. Well folks, if you've never been to a Rippies Believe It or Not, you really should. There are several of them around the country. See if there's one near you or wherever you're going to be traveling. They are pretty amazing and I've been to several of them and they are all different. Good day folks. Another carnival classic.